Hi guys, welcome back. Don't mind the sweatiness in my face right now. I just got done running up and down the stairs like legit like 12 times. Just bringing the groceries in because I wasn't smart enough to clean out my grocery tote beforehand. So let's hop into a Costco grocery haul. Okay guys, so the haul that I have today from Costco, which was 250 by the way, and then an additional 75. I am helping put on a bachelorette party for my best friend this weekend. And Saturday we are doing like all the fun things like taco stuff. I'm not gonna get too much into it because if she's watching, I don't want to give the secrets away. Um, anyway, so I have a lot of stuff here that is mostly for lunches and snacks and um, things that are easier in like grab and go type of um, food. So let's hop into what I got today. <laughs> All right, it is a mess. I got quite a bit, um, but there's like layers of stuff. So I'm gonna go through like the chips and things that I got first and then work my way down. So um, Skinny Pop, I got in the um, huge gigantic size because we go through these so fast and of course they're gluten-free all right and then I got two bags of these tortilla strips these are our favorite tortilla chips got two of them because I got lots of salsa and things for um, for the house and like it dips and all of the things so I've got these two um, bags they're both obviously gluten-free the other large baked items that I have, I have veggie straws. These are on sale for $3.99 this week, you guys. That is such a good deal. Um, and then I got this big bag of croutons for $6.99. Okay, so for the bachelorette party, I picked up some <laughs> meats. So we've got some prosciutto, sapresetta, Milano salami, and kappa. I believe it's kappa ham, isn't it? I could be totally wrong. But anyway, I've got... Um, I've got this cheese tray, charcuterie, charcuterie. I have no idea how to say it. You guys know I'm terrible at pronouncing things. Um, and then I also got a variety pack of this cheese for that. For the bachelorette party, I'm doing a Bloody Mary bar. Um, for the bachelorette party, we're doing a Bloody Mary bar. It's such a good idea for like a brunch. It's so yummy. Um, some people like to mix with Clamato. Some people like to mix with actual Bloody Mary mix. So I picked up a two pack of these Clamato juices for $7.99. The next thing that I got for the bachelorette party was some white queso with green chilies. Um, and then I also picked one up for at home as well because they looked so good. These, um, these were like $7.50 and they're like massive containers of queso. We love queso at our house, and since we're doing taco um, style stuff, I got queso for the bachelorette party as well. One of my favorite things to get for the house, um, and they don't always have this in stock, they have an artichoke and spinach dip. I like the artichoke and jalapeno dip. This one is so yummy, and to go with this dip, I found some almond flour gluten-free crackers. I am super excited to try this. I've never tried these almond flour crackers before. I kind of went back and forth and I was like, I'm not sure if these are gonna taste super great. And you know, everything at Costco is like $10 per item. So I didn't want to waste like $10 on a box of crackers if I wasn't gonna like it. But anyway, I um, took the chance because it was the only gluten-free crackers they had. Um, and I will pair it with this dip. Something else I will pair the crackers with is this Dubliner cheese. This is some of my absolute favorite cheese. Um, I might bring a little bit with for the uh, meat and cheese tray because it's absolutely my favorite. It's kind of like a Parmesan, like kind of like bite to it. I don't know how to explain it. It is so good though, I highly recommend it. All right, so salsa, and that is actually for the bachelorette party. Um, I got some of this broccoli cheddar soup because Kaya and Riker both love this so much, and I'm probably gonna keep Kaya home one day this week. I just wanna have some extra like snuggles and some like just Kaya mommy time before I'm gone for the whole weekend for that bachelorette party I'm going to, so this will be nice for a lunch. Um, I got this thing of beef jerky, it was on sale like major sale, it was like $6 I think for this whole bag. Um, 
and I totally munched down on this on the way home. I had like four pieces of this beef jerky on the way home because I hadn't eaten. Um, I picked up some eggs because um, Mike's guy, so Mike has to tell um, his guy at work when he wants eggs and he forgot to tell him last week. So I just got some eggs to refill the egg tray in the fridge um, in the meantime until we get some more farm fresh eggs. So if I do get eggs, I usually get the organic cage free eggs from um, Costco or Target. Um, and then I restocked on the kids' like little like yogurt squeezes. They tend to like the yogurts more than the applesauce. So I got a big 20 pack of those and I think these were like $8.99 or something like that. Um, next thing I got for the bachelorette party were these multi-green crackers. Um, so these are certified gluten-free crackers. Um, I'm really excited to see what these taste like. Um, I'm probably going to stick one bag of these and one bag of the almond flour crackers. I did not realize these were gluten-free when I grabbed them, but I am so excited that these are gluten-free because they look so yummy. And these were like, I want to say $6.79 for this whole box. So I picked up some Eggo waffles because I do have family coming to stay with me again. And I typically go for um, Kodiak um, power waffles because they're so yummy, but um, they didn't have um, any Kodiak cake mix in or anything. So anyway, I got this Eggo thing that for 72 waffles on sale for like, so it was like $6.99. It was something crazy, crazy cheap. So anyway, I got a ton of Eggo waffles now. So hopefully the kids like these over the Kodiak cake ones, but um, and then I got, like I said, today was a lot about like lunches and quick foods and things like that. Um, so I got a three pack of these chicken breast burrito bowls. Mike and I love Mexican food and the, these just like, they look so good. Sorry, my focus is like not working with me today. Um, they have like rice and cilantro and salsa and chicken. Um, it's gluten-free as well. Seasoned chicken breast with a blend of brown and brown rice, black beans, corn, salsa topped with jack and cheddar cheeses. So anyway, this looked so yummy and I wanna say like a three pack was around $10. Um, and these can just be um, refrigerated. These were in the refrigerated section. Next quick meal that I grabbed, which is very similar to the other one, I grabbed these chicken fajita bowls, grilled chicken, Breast with chipotle fajita sauce, green blend, black beans and peppers. And I wanna say these were like 10, 11, $12 for four of them. Um, Mike and I just need some quick lunches that like, especially Mike, he is so bad about going out to eat. So I just wanted to get him like really quick, easy to grab um, lunches. But anyway, so like 12-ish dollars for this big box. And this is a frozen, this is a freezer pack. And then I grabbed a rotisserie chicken, which if you guys have watched any of my Costco hauls in the past, you know that I always grab a rotisserie chicken and I usually use about half of it for a dinner one night and I'll use the other half and I'll actually cut it up with like cucumbers and tomatoes. Um, I don't have any cucumbers and tomatoes this week, but um, like cucumbers, tomatoes, fresh mozzarella is so good. Um, but anyways, I did not grab um, tomatoes or cucumbers. I might add those to my target order now that I'm thinking about it because I totally forgot, totally, totally forgot to grab cucumbers. Those baby cucumbers are my favorite, but anyway. And fresh mozzarella. So I got the sliced and ready to serve. Now these are only $6.99 for two of them from Costco. I always get them from Costco because they're like $4.99 or $5.99 for one of them at the regular grocery stores, including Walmart. Um, anyways, $6.99 for a two pack and I like to have these. So I like to make a salad, like the Capri salad um, with tomatoes, basil, um, fresh mozzarella. I do need to get some fresh basil. Fresh basil is like one of my most favorite things. I love it in pho, I love it in like salads. Um, I love it on like Italian food. I love it on so many things. But anyway, I got this fresh mozzarella to go in salads and just to have as a snack. Um, this is really good with balsamic glaze as well. Again, shout out to Costco for this balsamic glaze because I've had it for probably like six, seven, eight, nine months, like since the beginning of what all this craziness. I bought this at Costco for like 
I want to say it was like $8. Um, it doesn't expire till 2022 and this stuff is so good on everything. Moving into some kids stuff. So I'm going to show you like a kid and adult version, right? So my kids will not eat spicy chicken sausage, which is understandable. So I get them um, the all beef hot dogs. This is so much. And I went back and forth. I was like, do I really need to get this many hot dogs? But then I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? When I get hot dogs, I end up buying them like once a week because Riker goes through them so fast. So I'll likely freeze two of these and then just keep one in the fridge for the next week or two. Um, so this is the kid version and I do not serve it with buns anymore. I used to serve the kids' hot dogs in buns, um, but the, the, the kids just ended up eating the bun. So um, I stopped getting buns for the hot dogs. And then this is the adult version. So. This is the kind of chicken sausage that I get. I absolutely love it. It is gluten-free, pork-free, no nitrates or nitrates added. Um, anywho, super, super yummy. I highly recommend these. They come in like a massive pack and I'll usually freeze one and then throw that one in the refrigerator. Um, I like to have these for lunches too where I can just like heat up one or two of them and um, have them with like a side salad. Super, super good. And these are actually um, awesome inside of my taco soup as well. Oh, uh, we're almost done, I promise. Okay, so Mike likes to have hash browns in the mornings. A lot of mornings, I won't have hash browns during the week, but I will sometimes in the, on the weekend. Um, these are the best, you guys. Uh, we run out of freezer space really fast and um, like the frozen hash browns tend to be more expensive. One of these little guys will serve our entire family in the morning, entire family. Um, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight servings of hash browns here. If we were to get the big thing of frozen hash browns, it would maybe last four times. So $6.99 like I said, cheaper than the frozen hash browns. These are, I feel like they're just, they're softer. If you guys like a good like diner hash brown potato, I highly recommend getting these. You just add water to one of these containers and then it fluffs right up and then you put it in the pan with a little bit of avocado oil and crisp it up. And I season mine with nature seasons. These are so good, the best hash browns. All right, next thing up is the uncured turkey bacon. Um, I believe this was the same price as the um, Kirkland bacon, so like $14.99 for a four pack. Um, and this was $14.99 for a four pack as well. Um, my favorite bacon is the uncured turkey bacon. It just tastes so much better than that like manufactured stuff. I don't know how to explain it, like the Jenny O stuff. This stuff is really good. Last few things that I got, um, like I said, I got lots of stuff, like grab and go stuff for the kids. So I got a big thing of string cheese. This is $12.99 and there are, oh my gosh, I don't even know, like a bajillion of them in here. I have no idea. Um, a, a 60 pack, yep, so plenty. Mike eats the crap out of these as well. So I have to have a ton on hand at all times. Um, and then this is the kids' favorite cereal. Just happened to be on sale this week for like $5 for this gigantic box at Costco. So Kaya will be very happy that we got more cereal. Um, and then I am a little peeved because I haven't been able to find my oat milk anywhere and like, like Target is the only place that I'm able to get my Oatly milk. Um, I might send Mike to Target either tomorrow or the next day. I at least have milk to last us for now. Um, these are three half gallons of unsweetened almond milk. So this is fine for now because the kids really only use it for cereal. And then Riker has like one nighttime baba before he goes to bed. Um, but we have been using oat milk and we've been liking it a lot more. It tastes so much better. So anyway, um, I'm going to have to go to the grocery store and search for it myself in the next day or two. But this almond milk will do for the meantime. It was $8.99 for three half gallons. 
The last couple things that I got, I um, picked up some, I believe it was like six and a half pounds of 88% um, ground beef. With the bachelorette party this weekend, we're having obviously tacos, so I need to cook up all of this taco meat ahead of time um, and make sure that it's ready for crock pots on Saturday. I don't wanna have to do any prep work on Friday. I just wanna be able to bring uh, my best friend out to like the lake cabin that we're staying at and have everything prepped and ready to go by Thursday night um, so that is what this is for and there's like and then I got I saw these and I thought they looked so good um, they it was like the best pickles in the world blah 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 um, so I got them obviously because I love pickles uh, so anyway I just got these dill chips I'll tell you what I think of them after I try them but I got these for like five dollars and you can like even see all that fresh dill in there it just looks so yummy and then I picked up these crispy onions, which I'm sure a lot of you have used for like casseroles in the past, but Mike and I like to have them on top of burgers and we love to have them on top of salads. Cobb salads with these crispy onions on top are the best. The last two things in the haul, I've got a I've got a two pack of the cauliflower crust pizza. Um, you guys saw in my video, I believe it was like a week ago. Um, it was my what I eat in a day to lose weight. I have my own cauliflower pizza recipe, not for the crust. I just pick up um, the cauliflower crust from Walmart for $6.99 for a two pack, and then I make my own pizza with like turkey sausage and turkey pepperoni, turkey bacon, etc., etc. Um, if I want to have like meat toppings, now if if I just want to do a vegetable topping pizza, I'll just pick these up because they're so easy. I believe they're like 12 bucks for a two pack of them. Um, and Mike likes these as well. Of course, certified gluten-free. Last thing I got was a big thing of oranges. I did not fill up on a ton of fruit this week because I'm going to be gone and I don't really trust Mike to cut up the fruit and use it over the weekend. So I'm just, Going to stick with oranges for now. I always keep oranges in this bowl and then I keep lemons in this bowl. And then I'll usually keep limes on the tabletop just in case you guys are wondering where I keep all my fruit. Um, and usually I grab bananas too, but there were so many people in the fresh produce section and like the fruit and veggie section that I avoided it like the plague, literally. Um, I just grabbed a bag of oranges and then went on to the dairy and egg section and got the heck out of there. Okay, last thing that I got, um, typically when I go to Costco, oh, whoops, I've left my fridge open too long. Um, usually when I go to Costco, I'll pick up like a lunch for me. Um, this will usually last me like two lunches, but this is like a um, croissant sandwich. The croissant sandwiches are, you guys, they're seriously so good. Um, and then there's like a pesto mayo if you buy like the whole like, if you buy the whole thing of croissants, they have like a party platter and there's like a basil pesto mayo in there that is so bomb, so bomb. But anyways, I love their croissant sandwiches from Costco and if you are throwing a party, highly recommend them. Um, and also the Caesar salad is really good. So um, $7.50 and like I said, I get two lunches out of that. So for like $3.75 I get, I get a lunch and then I also have a lunch for the next day. So. Anyway, so that is everything that I got. I'm gonna put it all away, and then I'm gonna chat with you guys just for a little bit. Okay guys, it's the next day, and I wanted to chat with you a little bit on a couple of things. Um, I wanna do like, I don't know, I just like to chat with you guys. As you guys just saw, I got so much stuff from Costco yesterday. Um, right now, I am munching on some of that Dubliner cheese, along with some of those um, gluten-free almond flour crackers. These tastes a lot like Cheez-Its to me. They're really good. Um, they're a little much like paired with the Dubliner cheese, but um, the other like sesame seed, like the multi-grain um, gluten-free crackers that I got are really good. And those are more of like a rice cracker. Um, anyways, both super good. This cheese, delicious. Um, one ounce of the Dubliner cheese is um, four points and um, 17, 17 of these crackers are four points. So a nice little eight point snack for me. Um, I'm having more of like a snacky lunch because um, I ate my breakfast early. He said it's so good. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Nom, that's for you. Nom, nom. He has been kind of a nightmare today. He like, we go on our um, daily walk like every morning around 10.30 and 
He cried the whole way. He like pinched his finger um, in the stroller towards the beginning. Oh, is that one all gone? There's more over there. Why don't you go get your sisters? I know, I figured this one's all gone. There's more over in your sister's Yeti. Go get that one. Um, anyways, he pinched his finger like towards the beginning of the walk and I felt so bad. He cried the entire way. It was like an hour walk and he cried the whole time. Um, anyways, I, what I wanted to chat with you guys about was my weight loss. I want to kind of wrap up what Weight Watchers has looked like for me so far this summer and like what does my weight loss look like, things like that. Um, Cause I do talk about like a Weight Watchers recipes all the time and the points and everything. So I wanna share with you guys like really, like have I been true to it and um, how much weight have I lost? You want me to open this? <gasps> Boom! What's that? Wow! <laughs> wow! So I have been doing Weight Watchers on and off. If I'm being honest, I haven't been doing it a hundred percent. You want me to open this? Wow! That's awesome. Um, I have like in July, I like kind of I watched what I ate. And I still kind of ate the same foods. I didn't do any portion control. Um, I like on and off tracked my points. I had a lot more cheat days than I would have liked to have had, but they were like, those days are so well needed. And I don't know how to like put this into words, but like the summertime to me, yes, I like to eat fresher and healthier and like generally watch what I eat. And I love that Weight Watchers gives me that flexibility. I definitely could have been tracking it a little bit more. Um, I had a lot going on at the end of July and the beginning of this month, there was a lot going on. Um, we've had a really crazy busy schedule, so sometimes I just forget to track things. So I kind of fell off track with the tracking, um, but that's okay. I am still at 15 pounds lost. I've enjoyed many burgers and fried pickles and I've had like plenty of hard seltzers <laughs> and yummy beers. I have been just enjoying myself and enjoying like my life during the summer right now. This is the first summer that I have had off ever, ever. Um, I, this is, this has literally been the best summer ever, but the scariest summer ever at the same time, because you know, I took that leap of faith and you know, decided to do Eminem Rustics and YouTube full time um, without having a job and it's the pandemic and there's so many scary things that come along with that. but. I also like today I was driving and I just like slowed down and took a second to just be thankful for everything and being thankful for the weight loss that I've already had like everything is is so much better everything is so much better i love that i have control over my day today i am very dedicated to you guys and to my youtube channel and to just spreading like the hot mess chaotic like life that i have like just showing you what real life looks like i love sharing that with you guys um so i've just i've learned to be very thankful uh for where i am in my life so I guess what I'm trying to tell you guys is, yes, I've been doing Weight Watchers still, kind of on and off. I have lost 15 pounds over the entire summer. I still think that's pretty good. Um, I do have, I have a bachelorette party this weekend uh, for my best friend, and then I have a bachelorette party in a couple of weeks again, and then I have a wedding coming up in September, and then two weddings in October. So I definitely have a lot of events that I wanna look good for, so I'm gonna start kind of cracking down on what I'm eating but at the same time I'm still enjoying myself I'm not cutting the carbs as much clearly I'm having my crackers but I just make sure that they're gluten-free because I just feel better I feel better and more like just more like energy efficient I feel cleaner when I'm eating the gluten-free items I get a lot of questions as to why I'm gluten-free um, because I don't have like celiac disease but I uh, I show some gluten intolerance and dairy intolerance um, and there's like so many symptoms you can go and look those up but mine specifically is the eczema that I get on the back of my arms I just get these strange bumps all over the place on my arms are you trying to steal my glasses, <laughs> stinker? Anyway, I get this like eczema on the back of my arms and like I, my skin just, it doesn't look great. It doesn't 
like my face like I get a lot more redness in my face and just kind of like splotchy bumpy areas on my skin um, when I'm eating a processed foods diet um, with like gluten just like all the junk I just cut out gluten because I don't I don't have never seemed to have reacted to it well and I am slowly but surely cutting out dairy as I'm literally munching on cheese I am trying so hard but we have switched over our milk to almond milk and oat milk versus dairy milk um, so we're taking small steps in the right direction um, and I just I feel good I feel happy I feel mentally and physically I feel so good I'm staying active like I said I go on a two-mile walk every single day almost every single day and this fall, um, I'm going to kick up my workout routine quite a bit. My husband, um, Mike just went and bought like a total like workout system for the garage. So we got like a pull down like weight rack. So I'm gonna start getting into some like lifting and like fun things like that again over the winter months. As I've said before, that's when I usually crack down on my diets is like in the winter time because you have nothing else to do. You have the holidays, but then like after that you don't really have anything else to do, especially here in Minnesota because there's like, there's nothing you can do with COVID and with like it being a great white tundra outside. It gets very cold where I live, like 30 below zero. Like yes, very, very cold where I live in lots of snow. You want me to open that again for you? Um, so anyways, there's just nothing to do in the winter, especially this winter. There's gonna be nothing to do So might as well focus on my fitness and for the summertime while I still have things to do I am going to enjoy them and I'm going to Have that extra slice of cheese or I'm gonna have that queso and that burger Fried pickles are my jam with like spicy ranch so good um, I love to have that with like a beer out on the patio outside. Oh, so good. Anyway All right I'm gonna wrap up the video there for today, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of inspiration. I've got a cranky monster. Do you want cracker? Yeah, well, Let me open that. Here, I'll open it. I'll open it. Ah! Ah! There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's so exciting. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna wrap up the video there for today. I wanted to sit down and just like fill you guys in on like how Weight Watchers has been going. And it's been going really, really well. When I'm 100% true to the plan and like tracking all of my points, every little thing that goes in your mouth, you need to be tracking. And I just have been enjoying myself this summer, which I think all of us deserve, especially this summer. So even if you haven't lost any weight, don't be hard on yourself. It'll come, let it come in the winter months when you got nothing better to do than to focus in on something, right? That is how I see it. But anyways, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed this little weight loss update and little chitty chat with a Costco haul. I will be doing another Costco haul next week for my um, my dinner recipes, like all of my dinner ingredients that I need to get. He's trying to grab my phone. Um, because this week I just grabbed like lunch and snacks and fun things. So anyway, mm. all right, I'm gonna go snuggle this baby and watch some friends and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day and have it be calm and I'm so excited. Just like all the good things happen and I hope that all the good things are happening for you guys. Okay guys, I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video, which should be a cleaning video and a super fun DIY. Okay, bye you guys.